My name is Frank Zocco. I'm an Associate Professor of History and Environmental Studies at the University of Vermont and I am a Carson Fellow at the Rachel Carson Centre and I'm in the cluster dealing with environmental ethics, politics and movements. My research topic deals with the history of holistic thought in relation to um, modernity and in particular um, viewing holistic thought as a mode of re-enchantment in the modern world. Holism is a fairly broad and nebulous term um, but it's nonetheless a useful term. I mean we, historians often use broad and nebulous terms like liberalism, republicanism and so forth and holism is like one of those. It can mean many things to different people. But what it essentially is, it's a kind of a uh, way of viewing the world as a whole, um, as, uh, as an interconnected, interdependent ent entity where everything is connected to everything else. And it's a reaction to uh, scientific reductionism in particular. The idea, um, particularly, which became particularly strong in the 19th century, uh, that one should study nature and for that matter society by chopping it up into small bits and examining those small bits and really understanding them. Uh, and people, uh, especially in the late 19th and early 20th century, certain people had great problems with this way of understanding the world and argued that by focusing so much on um, this kind of mechanistic and reductive science, uh, people were losing a sense of the whole and the way everything was connected to everything else. And so various scientists and intellectuals and writers then kind of developed what we could consider to be a kind of body of holistic thought over the course of the 20th century. And I think one of the most important aspects of that is ecological holism, this kind of ec ecological worldview that very much sees the world and everything in it as deeply interconnected, including human beings who are not seen as something outside of the natural world but a part of all these um, interconnections. I think the topic is important today, remains important to, to today because uh, holistic thought is not simply uh, a historical topic. Um, it remains vibrant today. Uh, there are many uh, authors, especially coming out of uh, the tradition of environmental thought who still um, think in this way and operate in this way and I think many if not virtually all environmental organizations throughout the world still anchor their thinking about the environment in this holistic tradition. So that suggests then that you know this holistic thought is operating all around us still uh, and therefore is very much a part of modern society.